All right, welcome to the week, everybody. I hope you're doing great. Let's see what's going on today. Uh, we have a new moon in Taurus this week. That is a big deal. Um, I know that we've had some pretty big deals recently, but this is a big deal in my view because this is a, a really powerful moon for you to start fresh, set the stage for something bigger. All right, new moon, courage. Something is going to require courage, though. Like, this is not just about like, oh, you know, it's spring cleaning time and, you know, all of those things could be going on because we are in Taurus time, right? And that's definitely spring cleaning time. But this is bigger. This is bigger than that. This is much more about setting your sights on something that you have always wanted in your life or allowing yourself to take steps that you may have not taken in the past, right? Shadow, nature boy. <laughs> nature spirits here's transformation this is scorpio energy earth energy taurus we're talking about here oh yeah stormy okay um some of you um have not taken have not taken the step because of money okay and earth energy and as we're in this time of self-worth valuation, how you are evaluating yourself. Am I capable of this? Do I have the um, self-esteem to do this? I feel like what is going to help you is to go out into nature more, connect with nature, connect with earth. Um, this week in Pathfinders, I am going to be talking about the three levels of, of intuition again, survival, creative, and visionary. And survival can hold us fast, right? Survival intuition is your gut reaction. Um, it's about keeping myself safe and all of that. And your creative energy, your visionary energy can sometimes fly in the face of that initial reaction of, well, this won't keep me safe. And because we have Scorpio here, Scorpio is the opposite energy of Taurus. If you look at the 12 zodiac signs, they each have an opposite. Taurus rules the second house, Scorpio rules the eighth house. And when things get jammed up in terms of your resources, Taurus, or your self-worth and nothing's growing, you have to go towards Scorpio. You have to embrace risk, going deep, feeling things, right? You have to do that in order to open up your Taurus energy. And this that's exactly what this is. This is about, this is like eighth house. You know, there's some kind of, There's some kind of storm going on inside you, deep storm, that some of you have been trying to wallpaper over the cockroaches for a long time. Meaning, I don't want to know about this. I don't want to feel like I have to make a change. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. But now it's coming out of your pores. Like now it's coming out of you. Like I can't. I can't stop it. Or I. I feel like. I feel like it's everywhere. I feel like um, things are happening uh, beyond my control. You're putting yourself into a victim mode, all of those kinds of things that aren't really helpful. Um, it's time to like get back into that creative mode and allow, okay? And nature is a place where you can do that. Getting away from the city or getting away from people and just being with yourself, just being with yourself. Um, I'm gonna be putting up a, a little uh, free class about how to meditate. Hopefully that'll happen by the mid, this mid month here. And this little um, class I want to do basically talks about the reasons for meditation. Then I take you through some meditations. You can use these meditations to help you create a practice in your life. And meditation, you know, a lot of people do meditation for a lot of different reasons. They can do it to um, feel grounded. They can do it to get out of their head, which is exactly what it is. Ultimately, what you're doing is you're coming back to yourself. You're coming back to yourself. You're going to know yourself from a different angle. Underneath all of this social conditioning and expectations of other people that twist us around and make us feel like we're going in the wrong direction when we, when we align with our intuition, you got to get underneath all of that. And that's what meditation does. It really brings us back to a place of peace. 
and alignment with ourselves. And you can go through some stormy times when you're when you're peeling back those layers of the onion that were, you know, it's like layers and layers and layers of shellac and, you know, just, you know, um, wax and shellac and, you know, everybody trying to shape you and trying to mold you. Get back to the core you. Okay, that's what we're really wanting to do here. So Queen of Pentacles is showing up. Six of Wands, Ten of Wands, whoopsie, Ten of Wands, Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Lover's Card. So the choice is, Lover's Card, the choice is about understanding what ego is. What What is ego? Ego is something we all have. And sometimes it can get in our way. Sometimes it's useful. Everything is useful. Okay. If you think of every single situation you're in, every decision you make, everything you label as catastrophe or magic, uh, every single thing is useful. All right. Ten of wands. This is about putting down the old ways of doing things, like kind of shedding that those layers in order to build something brand new. Three of pentacles. The seven of cups, what do you want? Sometimes you don't even know. A lot of us who were raised in situations or a lot of us who are people now, if you are somebody that when someone says, well, what do you want to do? You're like, I don't know. What do you want to do? If you do that and you're really like, well, I don't really know what I want. I don't really know what I want. I just know that, okay, well, that doesn't sound that appetizing to me and I'm not sure that's good. And uh, okay, but if everybody wants to go along with it, I guess maybe I'm wrong and I'll do it. Okay, there's that's there's a sense of really not knowing who you are if you do stuff like that. Okay. Um, so let's see where this goes. Knight of Pentacles, Hanged Man, Two of Wands. Look at that. All this time I've been doing what everybody told me to do, what everybody said would be the right thing to do. Flipping that on its head. Um, I don't actually really like this. this. You know, you hear these stories about people going through like 12 years of, of college and med school and whatever, only to discover, I don't really like this. This is not my aptitude. This is not who I am. Can I, can I do the work of it? Yeah, I can because I'm smart and all that, but it's not firing me up. Two of Wands, going in a wholly different direction. Some of you are like, wow, I've been in this career for 25 years and it sucks. I don't even like this. Some of you have chosen like I did for the first ooh, 25 years of my working life that um, I wasn't um, good enough to be seen, to be on camera. So I was always behind the camera. And when I realized that it was kind of simultaneous to other things that were going on. But when I realized that that's a completely out externally driven idea. And also it really showed me that, you know, people didn't want me to have some success in that area for whatever reason. It really shook me up. I was like, oh. They didn't mean to really hurt me, did they? Well, no, not really. It's about them. Not, not as much about you, okay? So when people do that kind of thing, whether it's teachers or parents or siblings or whoever had a lot of pull with you, whoever had a lot of, of um, credibility with you, could be somebody you never even met. It could be things you read or media that you exposed yourself to or belief systems that you were plugged into as a kid. Like whatever it is, it's like, okay, I did everything that they said they said I should be doing to be a good person or be a quality person or be fill in the blank. And actually none of it worked for me. The secondary message can be, well, that just means I'm shit. No, it doesn't. It just means you're not aligned with that. Whenever you think there's only two choices that generally shows black and white thinking, well, I could only do this or only do that. There's a, when you open your intuition, there's a thousand other choices. 
There's a thousand other choices within the hash marks of your capability and your soul pr blueprint and all of that. There's a thousand choices. There's a thousand choices. And High Priestess, that's about intuition. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Devil card, Fool, getting free. Oh, I love that. I used to say, and I've still say up until like last week, um, that the Strength card is the only card that can overcome. Remember I said about the courage and the new moon in the beginning? It's actually about like to the point where you don't care. You're willing to go in a direction that's for you. You're willing to, to choose a life that's for you. And I feel like you're almost like reclaiming that person you were as a child before all those layers and layers of crap. Okay, you're like reclaiming that. There's something here about intuition and helping other people. Nothing will help you more than helping other people. And it's it's almost like you're getting out of yourself a little bit. So some of you actually have uh, a career path that is of service. This is Virgo energy. Virgo is about he being a healer. It's about being of service. You could have some important Virgo in your chart. Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus. Okay, I'm seeing that here. Capricorn, Cancer. And it's like you get to the point where you are so unhappy or you're so constricted or you're so ground to a halt or you're so burned out that it's like you can't make one more step. And you get forced. Sometimes illness forces people, you know, to make changes. Sometimes money forces people to make changes. And sometimes just pure burnout, grinding to a halt requires, you know, pushes the envelope into like, okay, this is no longer, um, it's no longer even a choice. I have to go in a different direction. So this high priestess is your intuition, an inner knowing. And this has been coming for quite a while. I keep seeing that too. This has been coming for quite a while. Six years, maybe. Maybe longer. Maybe some of you are in your second Saturn return. I guess I'm speaking to a, a, somebody who's in their second Saturn return who's had this opportunity before and never took it. And now there's, it could be, okay, hold on. On the next full moon. So the new moon that's coming this week is Taurus. It's time for you to plant the seeds. I think it's 18 degrees Taurus. That's what I looked at this morning. 18 degrees Taurus. So if you look at your own chart, your own birth chart, what's at 18 degrees, 19 degrees, somewhere in there. And then, and then if you want to um, take a look at where um, Taurus falls in your chart and see how those houses talk to each other or they don't talk to each other. If you're part of my astrology group, you already know how to do this. So there's this, this um, opportunity this week to see how you are particularly aligned with this planting of the seeds. Now, some of you could actually be starting a business. Some of you could actively be taking physical steps to purge from old patterns, 10 of wands. Whatever it is, it's tangible. On the next full moon, what? Right? On the next full moon, what? Let's see. Let's use this. Um, this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. On the next full moon, what? I'm going to take one, a couple of these and one of those. On the next full moon, what? Healing. All right, the next full moon is Sagittarius. So something may have started or something may have been activated um, back in December, end of November, early December. Something might have been activated. Some kind of seed may have been planted back then. That was about adventure, about expansiveness, about shifting belief systems that are going to become more healing to you. And when we say belief systems, sometimes that can kind of conjure up a feeling of, I don't have any control. It's just a, whatever belief system I was born into, whatever tribe I was born into. But this is more about choice because uh, Sagittarius is about adventure. So this is about you shifting 
on the next full moon because of whatever seeds you're planting now. You could use some self-care time, like now. Schedule it in, okay? Especially if y'all are getting burned out by something. Speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. It's like demanding energy here. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing. Give yourself some credit. Clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. So all of those are kind of commands to you right now. And it can be between in the next two weeks, there can be this sense of clearing of clutter, opportunities to speak up, giving yourself some credit, give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come and take some time to, uh, this is also self-care, queen of pentacles, to really give yourself some time out in nature or something along those lines. Now I see this fool, the fool is getting free of the devil. Remember what I said about courage. Strength card is the only one who can overcome the devil. Fool here makes me feel like I'm getting free of it. And then there's going to be rage. Okay. So sometimes when you get free of something and you see how long you spent in it, it can upset you. All right. I'll just use the word upset. Knight of swords. It can also be fast moving energy. <laughs> there's the strength card. Yay. That's courage. Overcoming things, overcoming the devil energy, king of swords, 10 of pentacles, two of swords. Hmm. Um, this might just be for a few of you, but were some of you controlled by money or resources with another person? I feel like you're overcoming that now. Like you have, uh, what's coming in is a lot of resources or your resources or what you do step into means you no longer feel like you have to be a slave to this person or a slave to this belief system or something like that. Like you're setting yourself free with this fool. And no that person's, power over you is gone. All right. That person's power could have been money, could have been, you know, family business, could have been uh, family money, could have been, you know, something like that. Their power over you. World. Page of pentacles, five of pentacles and the sun. It doesn't matter anymore. Like Wow. It doesn't matter anymore. You're planning this new beginning. You're leaving that person or that situation out in the cold. It doesn't even matter to you anymore to keep in with this old connection or this old way of living. Could be unplugging from a lot of people um, to be more in alignment with your future. The universe is calling all of us who have stood in the shadow of other people um, trying to keep us small. Time to get out of those, time to get out of those, uh, those shadows. Time to get out of, hold on, I want to show you. <laughs> time to get out of those shadows. All right. So let's keep going. Um, link is below if you want to continue on. Pathfinders. Let's just keep going. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.